sit and wait to see what you all are gonna do. She's your queen to be your object of affection. Okay. I always try to move my <laughs> like this. I got my pop. I got my pop solo, y'all. This is a project for me. You see this? What, oh, what you got going yeah. on there, Chris? You see all those papers and all that kind of stuff? Uh -huh. Yeah. That's why I always go. That's why I always go like this. I'm like, ooh, I don't want this. That's, that's <laughs> Even though it's straight uh, on. Hey, Titi's got like Titi's got her pop solo. Oh, what is that it's like a, a karaoke mic or? It's it's my karaoke pop solo mic, and it's a wedding because we're talking married at first sight. Married at first sight. This this is our of this season. This is our second second episode. Uh, yes, of um, season thirteen. I have Houston. opinions of the wazoo. <laughs> What's that? I, I have notes. I was, oh, you I was, took I, notes. You know, I, I think I need to take notes from now on. I really do. I'm not taking notes because there's so many things, small things. There's yeah, small that's things what it is. It's that I'm like, oh, I try and make. Oh. But what, do we want to? Who do we want to start with today? Because it's the second what? episode. We had two marriages. Two marriages, yes. And what? Two have already, two have already been married. Two, um, um, Bao and Johnny. Right, and the other and one, Michaela and Zach. And Zach, can yeah, I but just say now they have the two new ones? Yeah, um, but who, who this episode is two more marriages, right? Right, but we only but the last episode was only yeah, two, we only focused on those two, and now we got these, these, these two. These, not. I was extremely happy watching Michaela and Zach. I, I was too. They, oh my god, she looked beautiful when she just stepped into that. I, and she does, she exudes happiness, and that's yeah. what you, you, she and he does too. Yeah, and I keep thinking about like some of the clips that we saw so far, and like it looks like you know, there's anger and drama. I'm hoping that's just like you know, how they did us with like just the teaser of, of it not happening because really. Their families are that they're solid, good, good family background, and they're and these two people are really solid. They should be able to make it. It's only the youth thing. That's the only thing. That's the only thing. The I mean, I am totally on board with you. I you know I saw you know you could see I, what I liked about it is when they walk down the aisle and they're standing there in front of each other. He's nervous as fuck. Oh but yeah, he's, All the he's like a black lab. He is just happy to be there, wagging his fucking tail, enjoying being. He's like, I can. I just want to get married to somebody. I just want to be married. I don't care who it is. I'm so so happy to be in this situation. So I'm he's like a charge. He's like a he's like a like a black lab. He's just so happy. She, when she looked at him, she was like. You could see it in her eyes going, okay, what is he? What? Okay. Okay. And then she was like, okay. And then she was like, ooh. Like, oh, I can, okay. with him. And you could see it in her eyes, too. She was like, oh, okay, I can work with this. I can work with this. And he's just like, you're most beautiful. You're my wife. I mean, he's kind of like a, not a Stepford wife, but he's kind of, she's obviously going to steer the ship. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. But he's kind of, well, you think. Yeah, I would have well, to we say because here's what? the thing. Here's what here's go ahead, Tom. Go ahead, T. Go. Here, here's here's what I got out of this. I liked their wedding. And I have to say that in the history of Married at First Sight, their wedding, outside of even um Amani and Woody's, their wedding was the bomb. Because I liked when he's like Hello, beautiful. And she's like, hello, beautiful. Right. I love that. And as a clinician, it's for me, it's all about the eye contact. Yes. It's all about eyes. Because mm -hmm. I'm a firm believer of the eyes are the windows to the soul. Mm -hmm. And the way they were looking at each other, 
They yeah. didn't know each other, but the way they were looking at each other, I was like, this is going to work. This is going to work. The he, way she looked he, at him, he, would look he looked at, at her. He would look at anybody that way. I but think she, I, she was like, you could see it in her. I mean, I'm, I'm not worried about him and his loyalty and him trying hard. I'm not worried about this stuff. I'm worried about her being too much for him. You know what I mean? Right. So, but when I, but, or, or is she seeing him and going, oh, because she's a little picky too? Mm-hmm. She was like, okay, I can work. You could see in her eyes. She's like, I can work with this. Mm-hmm. She said, you're gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous. You're gorgeous. Right. But let like, me just I'm say. I am about this. I So. That's instant electricity between the two of them, and and she's a little, she's a, she's a freak. You can tell she's you already know she's a freak. She, you already know because she already talked about at her bachelorette party about the mm-hmm. last dude she was fucking, and she was talking about her toys, and mm-hmm. she was talking about. Remember she reached down to him, her husband, and he goes, "Oh, you reaching down there?" She's like, "Yeah, I want to see what you're working with." I was like, "Oh, I was like, yeah, oh. you're gonna learn today." Yeah, she's going yeah. and she, it's tonight or oh, yeah. whatever. Sir, I ain't talking to you tonight or whenever the the last the last thing comes up, the the honeymoon night. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of think. And if he, because didn't he say he wanted to wait a little bit? Is would he? No, that no. That was what's bad. So I don't know. I just feel like the only thing with him. What's his name again? Zach. I'm gonna call call him Black. Zach. Zach. You gonna call him what? Black Lab. He's like a big dog. He's like a happy Aww. Black Lab. I love Black Labs, but they're all like, it's no, just Zach. Hey. Black Zach. He's like, I want to get, I, I want to get, from I want to get, get married. Yeah. No, I, but I, Zach, that was Zach's thing. Like Zach's life. Like Zach is that dude that is like, as a woman, Zach was always that woman that we all know. We all, Shahida, you already know. We all all have that one woman in our clique that is like, all I want to do is be married. I was born to get married and have children. Mm-hmm. I was stunned that Zach, and it made me kind of like uh, put me on the fence with him where I was like, mm, do you really want to be married? Or yeah. are you just doing it for, you know, yeah, the, think- the, the shit? I think he really does want it, but I, it's almost too much for me. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's way. Too much like I've already written because, my vows. I wrote my vow before yeah. I even met him. I was like, really, dude. And then when they got to the wedding and got to like the the hotel, and he's crying, like he's talking to his brothers, and he's crying. And I'm like, dude, you I haven't know. even it's a, it's a you bit haven't much. even met your wife yet, and you're it's crying. A, it's a bit much. It's a bit much. That's what I'm saying. He's like a. He's like a. He's like a happy. He just wants it so bad, and it's like he, it doesn't matter who it would be. Yes, I'll take you. Yes, yes. Yes, he's, he's like an average woman. He's like an average woman, whether it be black or white or indifferent. That's like I just want to be married, and right. I finally found somebody. Right. And now that's going to be my person. Yes. And now I'm going to be happy with that. And I'll do and whatever it takes. Do, I'll do whatever it takes he's to like, make till them death do we part. Happy. He's like, yep. for I am yours forever. Yeah. And we've talked about this, you know. We've, on an aside, talked about uh, how much of a problem I have saying something like that to to say for the rest of my. We talked about it how, for the rest of my life, and I promise to be there. And I haven't been. I obviously, I haven't gotten married, but to be able to sit up there and stand in front of a bunch of people and say that you gotta mean that. You yes. gotta mean that. You gotta. You gotta mean that. So when he was like, you know. I believe him when he's like, till death, whatever it takes, we got to work it out, this and the other. And as long as she can be like, okay, let me work with him, she's going to have to work with him. Does right. that make sense? She's going to have to be like, okay, we can do this. You know, I need him to step up in this a little bit. You know, his, his, well, who knows what it's going to be like. You know what I mean? I don't think, I feel like I get you all's point and, you know, um, kind of making him out to be the emotional one in the relationship. But, and, and I've seen, and I've definitely seen that because the crying was emotional and I didn't think it was too much. I mean, some people, are just, I, I, I didn't, I just thought that, you know, he was, well, he most was people don't. with you, emotion. You didn't cry, you said beforehand? Huh? Or you didn't cry beforehand or you mm-hmm. said you didn't, you didn't. I didn't cry? Yeah. No. Did you, say you didn't cry? You didn't, or I thought you said 
because people do that. They cry before they get no, married. I'm saying that, you know, some people get overwhelmed with emotions and they cry. He just seems like that type of person. You see him even when he's talking to his parents. He's emotional. He's an emotional being. Yeah. You know, so he kind of wears his heart on his sleeve type of person. Yeah. I'm interested to see how he is on his day to day. Like, you know, um, how he connects with people without seeming like he's an emotional, how he- Yes, how he, goes, how he walks in the world. Right, how he handles being emotional in the real world and how that is gonna translate in his marriage. So I'm, I'm, I, I, I really liked him. I really think that he is in it to win it, but yeah. I, don't, I don't feel like, I, I, I feel like, I don't like the Labrador. <laughs> analogy that much. Well, when I think, I when, I think when I say a black lab, everybody I loves, I don't know anybody who doesn't love a black lab. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're loyal, they're fast, they're strong, they're overall great dog. There's nothing wrong with a black lab. It's an amazing dog, but there's so many black labs. I mean, it's not like special. Right. You know, there's nothing right. special. Mm -hmm. but, it's like, but I would never say no to a black lab. I, I would, if someone said, you want a black, of course. But there's not so many men like him, though, that are emotional like that. Yeah, but it's it's like, yeah, I mean, that's oof. That's rare to see a man that emotional. I was thinking Black Lab in terms of how he views marriage and, okay. and being, being married. And he's just like, I, it's the greatest thing in the world. I want it yeah. to be the greatest. Okay, not, yeah. not in terms of him being at that. Okay, person, got you, got you. But the, yeah. the attitude of marriage is like, oh, my God, it's the greatest thing in the world. You know, does that make sense? No. Oh, yes. yes. As a dude, and as I'm a dude, with you all. as a man, as a dude. Yes. I mean, I don't think women is bridezillas. Oh, you don't think the marriage will last? I don't think that whole oh. where he was like, you know, I just want to you know, marriage, 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 marriage until marriage, marriage, marriage. it's him in the face. <laughs> until it's in the face. Yes, I agree with you, Chris. We'll see. He's out there, but I don't think that's gonna last. Really? Oh, you're giving it a thumb down, really? Because of you think that he'll be like, you know what? This is not what I wanted. Because uh, I think he's so involved with himself and what his expectations of himself is that I don't think that he's going to, that's not going to work with her. No. Because she's so stubborn and so out there. That's not going to work. But I, the only reason why it may, I would like to think that it may, because I'm going to say this, their wedding was the best wedding I've ever seen in a long time. That was fun. It was better <laughs> than Woody and Armani's wedding for me. Yeah. I mean, I feel like everybody got along. The family seemed to, and I love the family because I feel like, you know, I mean, that's half the battle sometimes if you have a real supportive yeah family and they not ghetto and <laughs> getting shit going. I mean, they, they seem very supportive and loved each one of them. So we'll see. I mean, I'm, I got my fingers crossed for them. I got my fingers crossed. I have my fingers and my toes crossed for uh, Michaela and, and Jake. Zach? Zach. 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 Michaela and I, Zach. I, 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 I think they're going to ask I still, th I think it's the only thing is the maturity age thing. That's the oh, and she's not thirty three. She's only thirty. She's yeah. only thirty. Yeah, three, three, three years, which is not he's as bad. Seven. Yeah, not, he's bad. Yeah. not as bad, but still, it's going to be a factor. Thing. It's still going to be a factor. If he was thirty three, it'd be told. It'd be a done deal. Yeah, he totally. could be. He could be an old soul. That that would yeah, be an interesting to say. There was been an old soul no <laughs> and what? No. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, it could, it, it, it might be a, a hindrance because we all thought that he was like immature. But I don't know how we got that age difference. So um, yeah, I don't know. I think I, I feel that, how that happened. But there's point. a four year age difference between them two. No, it's only three. three. Twenty seven. Twenty seven, and she's thirty. Oh yeah. Okay. All right, we good. All right, so we got thumbs up for that. I well, give them a two. Yeah. I give them two thumbs up. Oh, you do? Okay. I thought yes. You I give them two thumbs up. All right. We still I think they're gonna work. Right. I think they're gonna work. And then, okay. Well, listen, listen. We're not going through everybody. We're just going on the episode. But we gotta talk about Merla. Merla. And we don't, we don't say that. Don't we say that to last? 
Okay. Yeah, that's, a, that's the juicy one. All right. So the next we can one. Get into it. We can get into it, but we'll spend the whole time talking about them. Sorry, Sheeta. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Because in my notes, the next one that they talked about was Bow and Johnny. Because I just went okay. as. Let's do a quick Bow and Johnny. I mean, that wasn't really nothing. I know, but you know what? It, I, I absolutely loved when people honor their cultural traditions. Exactly. That tea you. ceremony had me had me shook. I loved liked it. it. That was really and nice. And you saw so much more of his personality. Mm-hmm. Like, remember, yeah. you, know, like you know. And you see her loosening up, too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He's finally like, okay, it's going to be okay. I think of it, and it's going to be okay. She, she, The fact that she's even saying, oh, I think this, it's perfect. But in her mind, she's going, oh, my God, you can't be perfect. You can't be perfect. It's, it, it can't be perfect. You know, do you hear? She's so scared, but it's like she can hear herself calming herself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, everything is great. I mean, our family, I insist on the wedding the tea ceremony, and that's what we had. So you can almost hear like I can't believe it that is actually set up with a, the only person who I haven't seen in 14 years that I know already who is Vietnamese just like me <laughs> that I know who he is that was a player and now I'm going to marry him in all of Houston. That is amazing. It's amazing, and that's the only dude for her in 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 the world. Basic, really, that's the yeah. only dude for her in the world. Is this? I dude. agree with you. I agree with you. Is this dude. What I thought was, I mean. I do see him now after seeing him at the wedding, but I didn't before because when he kept saying, oh, he's a player. And I'm like, really? This OCD dude is a player because I just can't see him. But he he's showed so, a lot so, more of his personality. So swag, OCD swag. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, like, how are you are you playing with all these different women? And you, you what, what, what was one of the craziest things he said about... Um, that washing the hands or it was it oh was, yeah, yeah he's like yeah yeah exactly yeah, it was some like really really like you get the shower when you wake up and when you go to sleep and wash your hands after the showering part's not like really OCD no but like insisting it was in between that was crazy but anyway oh well the, the next person on my list we did get to go in, in Merla but we're saving that for last right. We yeah. Well, no, that's the that's the only last person people. No, we got we got. Uh, um, Bert, Brian and Brett. Brett. Now, oh, can I say one thing about? Please, about Shanita, Brian? this is your. This seems like it's your favorite. So please, <laughs> you start all, always with this couple. Whatever you want to say, and then we'll talk about it. No, that's no. I'm, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm serious. Like you like you like talking about this couple, and I have like. Go ahead. I I no. You think I like talking about Ryan and Brett? I do because you love Brett. I think you really like Brett. I think you're talking about Tanya. Tanya's the one that Brett is so beautiful. She loves the red hair. I never said anything about these people. <laughs> oh, yes, I Tanya. did say that about Brett. That I'm like looking cute. at Brett and I'm like, yeah. I'm not looking at Ryan. Oh, right my now. bad. So my bad. Go, yeah. go, go ahead. But I was very, I was on the fence about Ryan because of dating all those women. Right. But I really liked his, his flowers to the mother. I love that. And the sneakers. I love that. That was cute. I did. I love that. <laughs> that and was smart. what, That's what smart. Brett should have did That's as if, what Brett should have did as a good bitch, she should have taken off her shoes and put them sneakers on. That's what I would have done. If I was the bride, I'd have been like, okay, my shoes, I'm gonna put my the sneakers on that he gave All me. I walk down the aisle with them. Yeah, I would walk down the aisle with him. And with with the long dress, she didn't have a whole a short dress. She had a long dress. I would walk down the aisle with a short, my long dress. And then when I got to him, I'd have lifted up my dress a little bit and be like, pow, here we go. Because yeah, I love I probably you. wouldn't have, but I, I love the gesture. I thought it showed a little bit of his personality. Yeah. And because I, I, I still, I couldn't get uh, a fix on him other than the fact that he dated all those women and couldn't find anybody. That's, yeah. that's just, well, he's a typical dude. And where, where are we at? I think, as I, said, I think, I think it's the fact that now he's in a situation, you get what you ask for. You want to be yeah. married this badly? We're going to find someone for you. And now he's like, okay, I can, let me see if I can work within these parameters with this woman. And, but I, you know, I, 
Brett is a beautiful woman, as you said. She's nice, even with the she has larger teeth. Yes. That's fine. But I can't. I, I feel bad because whenever I see her, sometimes I automatically, you know, she's like this, right? Mm -hmm. But right, it looks like she's. I swear to God, it looks like she's related. <laughs> oh my God, Chris! I saw that. Like, did she a, not look like half, her? A, half, half an hour, forty-five this minutes is a ago. Picture, I mean, this is because she has some looks every now and then. She has a look like that. And I'm like, oh my God, that's Gar that's character. And I was like, but that's so weird. It's like a but weird. But it's not that bad. Listen, next time you watch it, next time you watch it, think carrot top in your head and see if you know what carrot top, you know, what kind of stuff he does. He does like kind of. Look. I know what carrot top does, but I don't think she portrays that. I think it's just, no. I think it's just, the, in it, I think it's just the internet perpetrating. Strictly a look. Strictly oh, a look. Yeah. And her, list. anyway, I'll, I'll screens grab something. I'll be like, Carrot top, carrot top, Ca carrot top. See it, see it. <laughs> so that's next. Time. Anyway, so I can definitely see it. I don't like the color of her hair. I don't either. Um, I'm not a big red hair. I no like the color, and I'm not a big red hair fan, but I like the color of her hair. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she seems like a nice person, and there's still, you know, we didn't get to the vows on them. We just got to that very big. Yeah, we just got to the entrance. Yeah, just, just to the in. intro. So, yeah. And what's, it's what's interesting about that. I would have a tough time marrying someone not knowing what their hair color is. Pretty sure. You know what I mean? But I, I'm pretty sure that probably they'll see like pictures of each other and he'll, he'll know. I mean, will yeah, it, but, but the first time, for the first time you want to see your wife, you're going to be like, oh, you know, that's what it looks like. And she's like, no, she has, does that make sense? I don't know. Yep, I, I think it looks dyeing like your it. hair like that, well, she already had it that way. Yeah. Drawing it back or drawing something. Agreed. Well, not even taking it. If she did that, she would have taken a chance before her wedding day and that would not have been a good sign. So right. stick with the red hair and we'll see. Anyway, yeah. but she looked nice in her dress. She looked nice in her dress and um, I think they're going to work out, though. I think he really, really wants it, and I think he's a nice guy. I think he's a—he's he, emotional too. This is like the—this is like the emotional. Uh, Johnny's emotional. They're all emotional, <laughs> except for the fireman. That is true. I, I feel like he was. I, I still don't have that. I, I'm still not solid on anything with them. I'm giving them the thumbs up only because I can't really read them well. Right. It's like we have to see what the wedding's going to be like. Yeah, it's almost like they're so dull that I, I don't yeah. have, have anything. Right, I feel you. So we'll see. I'm still giving them the, the thumbs up, but yeah. I don't know. What about Rachel and Jose? Oh. I'm feeling for Rachel. I just... And I'm just mad at Dr. Cal. What? Dr. I don't think that relationship is going to work. It's not going to work. Thumbs down. What were you whispering? Um, wait a second. Wait a second. I don't. I don't like. I don't like. Uh, I'm not a fan of his. Of who? Pastor Cal. No, not Pastor Cal. But the, Jose. The, Jose. No, me neither. I don't like him. I'm not either. I'm not saying I'm mad at Pastor Cal because. He's the type of person I feel for a person that was so insecure yes. that he will ravage her her security. I mean, and, and I know she's trying to talk herself up. I lost 30 pounds and I really feel good about myself. Or, I just I, I don't I don't I don't I don't feel it. And I in listening to her friends and how, how she was talking, I got, I got you. I just it's yeah, not I'm, I'm I'm concerned. I'm really yeah. I, 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 about her I, mental health. And I don't think he's. I don't know if he's going to be attracted to her. Right. Really. I agreed. I don't think. I don't know. I don't know what kind of woman he would pull though. You know what I mean? I can't right. tell. How tall is he? Like five seven? Is he like a short guy? I know. Right? I'm short. Sure. He's short to me. Short. And that suit, that tuxedo. Can we talk about that tuxedo? Where was he oh, with, going? All, with all the bling like bling. Yeah, like he he looked like he was doing a Vegas act or something. That was not a good look. He, like, he, had, a, a he, good had, look. he had a cape like this and whatever the bulls coming like this. Oh, <laughs> and his sparkles and stuff. 
we'll, we'll see about them, but let, okay, let's get to. Let's get in it. Let's get up. Let's get up in Merla and. And Gil. Let's talk about Merla and Gil. And all I'm going to say is, let me get my two cents in. That ain't going to work. I'm going to, Dr. Cal said that Gil has the patience. No, not going to work. Balance her out. Not going to work. I feel Dr. Cal got that completely wrong. That is yeah. totally wrong. That is she not going. She wants someone to accompany her as her husband. Yep. Not, yep. not get married. She wants someone to say, that's my husband. And we do what I say. Yep. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop anything that I want to do for my She's like, oh, you have a dog? I was like, yo, you don't, you don't, even if it's like a love, remember she talked about the dogs? Yeah. Even if it's like, does he slobber a lot? You don't say that in, off, off the top. But why did they say, partner her with somebody with a dog? Didn't they ask and bald, her? and bald, and bald. She's but like, she yeah, said, and bald. Doesn't work, huh? What'd you she say, said, Tanya? No, I said, and bald. Like yeah. he's bald and the and dog like, I don't want a bald is like, whatever. She's, 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 and, and the, the makeup, when they're putting the makeup on her, they show that particular to, to establish her character as being high fucking maintenance yes. to her friends, okay. to her family. And she's going to be really high maintenance to him. So yeah. he better have some patience or she better okay. have some nice poom poom. To keep him no honest or whatever, she needs to she needs to be doing something on him to make him go yes, honey, no, honey, yes, dear, no, dear, because as far as, far as I'm concerned right now, that's what she wants. She's like, I want it my way, and that's it. True. And I'm not, I'm not. this this good looking tall. He's tall, dark, and handsome. Yeah, but he's got a bald head. Really, you want us to make a bot for you, Merla? Merla? You want a bot? No. We got you as close as you can to what you want. A nice man who's Hispanic, who greets your mother in Spanish. Amen. Who's presentable, who has a good job, who's into helping people, who can take care of a pet, who can take care of a dog that he loves, that he's shown that he can love a dog, which is something if you have, you're dating someone, they don't have any pets or whatever, you don't know if you can, if they plans to can they take care of anything besides themselves but if they have a pet and the pet is well take and he loves the pet he loves his dog what more do you I'll want say. woman he what makes his want? own money he does his own thing he's a nice guy he's gonna treat you with respect you've been coming from an abused background i hope i hope she checks herself before she wrecks herself yeah. i hope it, i hope she does okay. i hope she realizes what she has because that's a nice brother right there I think nice, she wrecked herself nice. at the at the reception. From the previews that we see coming up, I hope that that's just like those teasers to get you to come in because she came in way too hot for those friends. But they were looking at her like when they were when she was reading those vows. They were like, hmm. "Really? Exactly." What? Did you see their facial expressions? You know, and I know that could be like some you know slick editing too, but it was still like one of those. But, things. but they have to show that to to know that. We're not the she's we're not the only ones that are thinking that. Her yeah. family people are, that's what they're showing it. It's like, oh, you thought that she was acting this demanding. Let's show mm -hmm. some audience members doing having the same reaction that the audience at home would be having. Yeah. Like, really? Oh wow, okay. Well, shoot, really? Yeah, she she let him kiss him on the cheek. But you knew that. I was surprised she couldn't Chris. Remember how long it took for him to go in? He that was a pause, man. Yeah, so he had to make sure. He had to make sure. Mm -hmm. But you would think, and at least he, he went like this. She went and patted him. I was like, "Yo, you can't kiss the person that's supposed to you spend the rest of your life with. That's gonna be your first kiss. He kissed you on the cheek because you turned your head at the at the. If you're gonna start from this day forward, start for if you're married, start being married. That's to me." That's my whole thing. Like Michaela and you know, Zach. I do. From then on, it's not like, oh, we're going to warm up to be married. No, 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 no. You're married right then and there. So, treat, you know, whatever. So, Michaela and Zach, did you see that? Check that kiss when they were doing their first dance and mm -hmm. she was talking and they were talking and he just went in. Yeah. 
And they were ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can yeah. see that chemistry. Yeah. But she's so, I didn't realize how uptight Mirla was. Uptight. Which, I, which like I said last week. I I'm, not gonna, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not gonna pick up his poop. I'm not gonna walk him in the night and pick up his poop. I'm like, oh, really? I'm sorry, go ahead, Sheeta. But that's the point. Why would the experts put her with somebody that loves dogs? You had to know that she does not love animals. Yeah, but he's the only person in Houston probably that could deal with her. But did you see the, the friends? Did Who you see the friends? The friends' reactions at at the wedding when she walked down and she started talking. The friends' reactions were classic. Yeah, their facial expressions, every. But I no, I don't get it. It doesn't. That doesn't make sense because dogs are like people's children. Yes, of course. Right. Why would you pair somebody with somebody that does not like dogs? Well, she don't like bald men either. No, so that's they, different. That's different. That's something that you that like. Look, well, well, if he's fine enough, you could maybe get over. But dogs are—that's like a child to to people. I know, I know. There's no way you can get over that. Either you like them or you don't. Uh, what was that? I get, I could get over them, but I'm not gonna like a child or a dog. <laughs> sorry, no, sorry. I. I mean, I could probably be with somebody that that because I I like animals, but I'm not gonna have an animal. But I could be paired with somebody that does. Right. And I would not pair her. Oh, but she's with so particular about everything. But it's not even like, particular. Look. That's selfish. That's her selfishness. I don't. Yeah, no, well, totally. I, I totally agree that. with you. I totally agree with you. I think she's. Well, just, that was a dumb thing for them to put him with. So now he has to be stressed but, about his dog. But there's no one else. There's no one else they could ever put her with because they need someone with the patience and understanding that really wants to marry and like not going to cheat. And that's the only dude in all of Houston probably that could handle her. I don't Basically. believe that. I don't believe that. You think there's yeah. someone better that could handle her? I'm, no, no, there's no one. There's no one who can handle it. The reason I say I don't believe that is because there got to be somebody out there who's just as materialistic, just as materialistic as her, just as self-centered as her. And yeah, I mean, no, 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 why would you? Why would you mess him up and make him feel on the um, um, offense because you don't like his dog? That's going to be a big thing. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Or she's gonna go look, grow to love that dog. Yeah, I let the dog that go. That happens too. That happens too. I, I would be. I, I would hope that she would have that kind of empathy in herself to be able to. I mean, the way she's talking about, like you know, oh, I I want every child to have um, a great education. She says those things, but I don't feel those things. No, not at all. She's just saying it. Just saying it. I I don't. I am not a fan of hers whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So with her friends, when she was talking about it, like, no, I'm not kissing him. No, like she's real. I didn't realize how uptight she was. She's really uptight, really uptight, and really selfish, and doesn't want to change. She just wants a husband to say she has a husband to help sure. her carry up her Louboutin bags. That's what she wants. She wants yeah. someone to help. Oh, my car is. Like, can you take care of that, please? She wants a. Husband. We're talking about finances and spending. Ooh. That's going to be an interesting one. Well, you know, we'll keep our separate accounts, and I'm going to spend what I want to spend. You spend what you want to spend. That's what. That's what you're going to say. Like, look, we're, you have to say we're married. Let's start acting like we're married. That means what's yours is yours, and what's mine is mine, and what's ours okay. is ours. Yeah. So start thinking in terms of serious marriage counseling. They're gonna do. Ooh, they're gonna need it, and I, the sex better be bomb to keep them both happy. I don't feel like she's gonna give into it for a good while. I don't think so either. It could. I mean, I mean, she, she may not. She may not even have sex with them. Terrible. I think she will. Maybe on the honeymoon. Not anytime soon. Yeah, man, uh, yeah. I think I think she will. It depends on if she likes him. Enough. It depends on if she likes him enough or not. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, I do think she finds him attractive? I think she finds. Oh, okay, okay. When at the at the um altar, when he was like, "You're beautiful," and she was like, "Thank you," and he was giving her all his compliments, she didn't give him not one. 
I know. She didn't say one complimentary thing to him. Right. Like when Michaela and Zach, they were like, you're gorgeous. You're gorgeous too. They complimented each other for each compliment. She did not say a word. Thank you. Wow. Because Thank she kept you. going in her head. Thank He's you. got a bald head. He's got a bald head. Yeah. He's got a bald head. Bald head. Oh. Now yeah. what do I have to do? I have to say I do? Oh yeah, I do. Yeah. She didn't look like she wanted to hold his hand walking down the aisle. She didn't look happy. She didn't look like, oh my God, I am married. But you know oh, what? He didn't look happy either. No. He came in with a smile. He did not look happy out there with her. Because he got to kiss her, he kiss his wife on the cheek and listen to her, listen to Trash. All right. I don't like her. Got it. We'll see how I mean, we I think that's still a thumbs down for them, but you know, we'll definitely. Oh, no, they're not going to make it. They, no, they, I don't think make so. It. I don't think. They, they it would have to be it. a complete 180, and I don't think she has it in her to do that. I don't think you're right. I don't think I don't think she's open enough. And no, she doesn't have it in her. I mean, and you could see the selfishness just reeks oh, off. Right. It's all about her, what she wants, all yeah. about her. I want him to be this. I want him to be that. I want. What about you, huh? What about yeah. you? You know, like the IKEA guy. But can I? But I said I keep going back to those Instagram, um, her Instagram, and all those pictures and the pictures of her on the wall. And you, you would think that person who did all of that is more extroverted. No. Yeah, but that's what she wants. That's what she wants. Yeah, but I don't know if on her Instagram because it's private has any of those pictures on there. Yeah, but no, she had. She was showing at the beginning, like one of like the very first episodes. Oh, her was, like her traveling, right? Or something. Yeah, like that. she was showing those you're pictures. Right, you're right. She was like oh, these right. on my Instagram, and she's all in the bathing suit. She's all like you know, yes. posing or whatever. I thought, and that's when you were like, "Oh my God, she's hot. She's gonna that that's gonna be the couple." That was our first impression when we yeah. saw her the very first time. And she like the complete opposite of what she portrayed in yes. the beginning. Yes. Anyway. So All I'm right. Look, I'm, look, I'm looking to find her uh, in um, her Instagram. Marla. Marla. I'm telling you, next week when you watch, look, think, think, um, think Carrot Top. I'm telling you. Oh, of course. Yeah, I don't know about all that, but I'm just thinking that, yeah, I know. Merla, Merla and Gil ain't going to last. Here it is. Yeah, this, this says it's her. No, it can't be. What? That I says know. it's her. I, yeah, because I don't know her last name. Yeah, so, I don't know. I don't know her saying. last name, but I know she showed the pictures on the show. If you go back and watch like that, yeah. that Houston mm -hmm. intro, she talks about herself and all the pictures and she has that whole wall of herself. And I mean, I, I mean, I guess that's something that she can do for herself that she just yeah. likes for herself. Yeah. I don't she only has 310, I'm, not, I'm surprised she only has 310 followers though. Cause she's not likable. <laughs> My name is Bennett. I am anyway. Bennett. All right, kiddos. Right. Have a great Friday. And you too. I'm like, I'm 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 going back to watch Dr. Death, the documentary. Go watch Doc, Dr. Death. And I just finished Hacks. Love is blonde. I I'm love telling Hacks. you, Love is Blonde. You gotta watch okay. it. Love is blind on what? It's the it's still second. What's interesting, it's not the second season. Because I couldn't find it. It's the first season, episode 12. Of new what? episodes of the first season. That's what, what channel? It's, it's on Netflix. Netflix. Love is okay. I'll watch it. Love is blonde on Netflix. Yeah. All right. Because I started watching the first episode over again just to get uh -huh. familiar with people, and then I was like, okay, I know what happens, and then I skipped ahead, and I was like, oh, this is the new one. So start watching episode twelve. So are they going to have a season? Because I thought they were going to have a season yeah. two. I think, they, I think they do have a season two, but this may be the kickoff point before season two. Okay. So. All right. All right, kiddos. All right, everybody. Peace out. Love you guys. Hold on. Let me. Oh, shit. Let me end. End.